Hello everyone, my name is James Joshua Otto and I'm here today on behalf of Fracture Sounds to walk you through their brand new sample library, Midnight Grand. Midnight Grand is a deep sampled Steinway D Concert Grand piano recorded in a concert hall with a layer of cotton placed between the hammers and the strings to create a delicate cinematic tone. We'll get into the interface and the details in a minute, but here's what it sounds like. So if you've used Woodchester Piano before, then you should be instantly familiar with the interface layout here. First up, we've got the color dial. The color dial uh, just adjusts the presence of the piano and can help it stand out more in a mix, or you can give it a more mellow tone. So let me turn it right down to minus 50 and you can see, you can see that's a bit more mellow, whereas if I turn it right up to plus 50, you can see the presence is really boosted when we turn it up. You can command click to uh, reset any of these controls to zero. We've also got a stereo width control which goes from mono here. All the way up to nice stereo image on the other extreme. I'll come on to the atmosphere layers in a moment, but for now let's just have a look at the piano noise adjustments here. So the key releases dial adjusts the key release sound. Um, let's max that out so you can hear what that sounds like. So you can hear there we've got the sounds of the hammers just going back to their normal position. I'm going to keep that at 50 for the time being. And we've got the pedal noise as well, which we've sampled. So I'm going to keep that about 50 for the time being too. Now for the room tone, what we did was we left the microphones recording, left the room um, to capture the natural sound of the hall itself. The natural sound of the air, the creaks and clicks of the hall. Um, and so when used sparingly, this can add a lot of realism to the sound of the samples. I'm just going to turn it up to 100%. So you can hear just the subtle sounds of the room. And if I play with the play with the piano as well at the same time. So I'm gonna leave that at zero for the rest of the demo, but um, you can see how that adds a lot of realism to the samples because it recreates the sound of a natural um, recording environment. We've got a convolution reverb built in, but of course you're free to turn that off and use your own reverbs if you like. Let me just play you this with just the raw piano sample so you can hear what they sound like on their own. This is with no reverb, no atmosphere layers, the raw piano samples. So now let's talk a little bit about our signature atmosphere layers. These are specifically designed pads and textures which complement the raw piano sound. Um, 
Each one is specifically designed to bring a different color, a different texture. So let, what I'm gonna do is go through these individually so you can hear the character of each. So this is the haze layer. You can control the atmosphere intensity with your mod wheel. So I'm gonna turn that up to 100 just so we've got that completely maxed out and you can hear exactly how this sounds. So the haze layer is a smooth, sustained pad. It is velocity sensitive. We've also got the shivers layer, which is more of a textural pad. Uh, it's built from processed live string recordings. And finally, we've got the Eclipse layer. The Eclipse layer is a rich, reversed, granular effect, which lingers behind the raw piano samples, just adds a lot of detail. Now all of the atmosphere layers are velocity sensitive. They're also unaffected by the stereo width control, which means you can have the piano in mono if you want and have the stereo image created by your uh, atmosphere layers. Now what I'm gonna do is just play with all four layers up at once um, with the atmosphere maxed out at 100, just so you can hear how straight out of the box, this is with no additional processing, you can use Midnight Grand to create a really rich soundscape. What I'm gonna do is just turn these down again, just for the rest of the demo, back to their default levels. And let's have a look at the settings page in here. We've got a reduce thump control, which uh, subtly reduces the percussive lower frequencies of the piano, particularly in the upper range, um, just helps push the piano back in the mix. And so you can turn it off for a more present and upfront sound. Let me demo that. with it switched back on. You can hear how the thump of the piano uh, hammers is slightly dampened. We've also got a velocity response control. So when this is set low, the quieter samples are played louder. So this is me pressing really gently. I'm using a low velocity here. And playing a bit harder. As if I turn this right up and play really gently. And yeah, it really expands the dynamic range of the instrument. Sample start is particularly powerful with Midnight Grand because if we turn this right down, we get a little bit more latency, but what that means is that we can hear more of the sound of the hammers touching the cotton. You get a lovely tactile sound. You can hear that little brush at the start of the note. Whereas if I turn it right up, we get a much tighter sound. 
but you lose that you lose that slight brushed attack. I'll leave that in the middle for now. We've got a choice of reverb impulse responses built in. And we've also got the room tone mode adjuster here. Now what this means is if you're using the room tone, if you've got that turned up, um, if you choose always on, it's just going to be always playing. Or you can choose host transport here, which means that the room tone only plays when your door is playing. Um, because otherwise it will just literally be playing the whole time uh, if you leave it always on. So it's up to you. So hopefully that's given you a good overview of our new library, Midnight Grand. You've seen a lot here uh, to show you how it's really easy to create a really beautiful, rich soundscape um, with this instrument. Uh, I've had a lot of fun playing around with it, and um, I hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>